a gorgeous day. The birds are squawking. And it's 70 degrees. It's not 90 degrees yet, y'all. I'm so happy. Couldn't be more excited. It's a beautiful day. Finally have a day off. I worked six days in a row. They wanted me to work last Wednesday, which would have put me like 11 days in a row or eight days in a row. I said no to that, but I worked my six in a row and I made it through. And I know you're gonna make it through today. I believe in you, you got this. Whatever you have to do. I'm gonna relax. I'm gonna do whatever I wanna do. I'm gonna play it by ear today. I'm gonna chill. Dad is on his run to the post office or the bank or wherever he's going and he'll be back and we may hang out later today. I may ask him if he wants something for lunch. I might go get cat food from Walmart at some point and otherwise I'm just gonna relax and chill and I'm so excited to relax and chill because work definitely tired me out six days in a row and I worked a full like 38 hours I've been working like 33 or under hours the last year so 38 was a lot it felt like but I did it it was good and I'm happy I hope you're happy whatever you're doing today I hope you have a smooth day and I hope if you're worried anticipating something bad today stop don't assume what you don't know and just go with what you do and keep going and work hard. Fear is false evidence appearing real. And guess what? Fear is believing in something you don't see. You assume the worst, you make up the bad that could happen and then sometimes you think about it so much you create it for yourself. Don't do that. Think to be prepared for what could happen but don't expect the worst to happen. Just Expect whatever's gonna happen to happen. It's hard to do, but I know you can do it. And it just makes life a little better because you don't worry about stuff you can't control. If you can't control it, you have no reason to worry about it. If it's in other people's hands, decisions or, you know, whatever, if it's someone else's choice, you just have to hope that they walk with integrity and do the right thing. And if for some reason you've been mistreated, picked on, bullied, whether you're, you know, just at a high school or an adult, bullying happens all the time. It happens in lots of social circles, circles. It happens in lots of workplace team environments. Some managers are sick and twisted and they even get other leaders to harass somebody for whatever reason they do. Maybe they were a whistleblower and they said something wrong that the manager did to corporate and then they decided to retaliate and try and give you pressure. Don't worry. Keep speaking your truth. Keep doing the right thing. You walk with integrity. If other people don't walk with integrity and they go against you because you're kind hearted and loving and have integrity, that is 100% on them and they're the ones doing wrong and they will be the ones getting the karma for the lies and for the mistreatment and for the abuse and for the harassment, you don't have to worry about that. Especially if you're a child of God. If anyone comes against a child of God in any way, makes that child cry, if you come against a Christian, a true Christian, you're, you're in trouble because you actually came against God. There's Bible verses. If you've messed with the least of these, you've messed with me. God's words in the Bible. Look it up and have a great day. But remember, <laughs> if you've picked on someone who was innocent and kind-hearted, and you were a part of a group, even if you were following instructions, you're stuck with that bad karma too. So be careful, have a great day. I love you, but God loves you more. And if you're in trouble, your life is falling in shambles because of the bad stuff you did against someone else, you just gotta pray to God. Hope the best.